Alright, so I'm going to share one uh, one of my dreams, and I'm going to start off with uh, the first one. Mm, it's, I don't know how to get into detail about it, but uh, it was back in May of 2013. Um, I had gotten locked up for a train for a missing court uh, over a train ticket. And, um, yeah, they had a warrant for my arrest, so they came to my house and they locked me up or whatever for it. And um, I was in the jail for three days. That was my, this is my very first time being locked up ever. And I do believe I was like 26. Um, so, yeah. And then the first night, and I had, they had me sleeping with a cot on the floor, you know, a little thin piece of something. And the other two women had, uh, they were sleeping on the beds. They were like bunk beds, and it was three of us in a small, 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 tiny room. And, um, yeah, I had fell asleep that first night and uh, had the most amazing dream. And you know how you dream, and you probably have been dreaming this dream all night, you know. And you wake up, and you, you can only remember, like... <laughs> Probably like not even not even half the dream, like less than that. But um, I actually was woken up because in my dream I was speaking in tongue. Um, and I, people call them visions and stuff, but I was asleep, you know. And um, but it woke me up though, and it was so real. And um, I believe it was you know the Lord showing me something and this is before I even decided to dedicate my life to him like that didn't happen till 2017 but I really uh, decided to seek him and you know but um yeah in 2013 you know I didn't even ha own a bible like um you know, I guess I did. I owned the Bible, but I never read it. And, you know, I wasn't really into my word like that. Um, but I knew that something supernatural was going on in my life. But I didn't, I wasn't even paying too much attention to it. So that's why this dream just took me off guard. Because you would think that a stage person would have this type of dream. Like, that's why I told my grandmother about this dream. Because, um... So you would think that somebody that she was, you know, spending every day with the Lord would have had this dream. But in this dream, I was in heaven, you know, either in a new Jerusalem or heaven. I, I, you know, I like to call it heaven because it was all white. Like, it was just, it's not like I saw trees and everything like that or, you know, I, it's just, it felt like we were in a cloud, you know, it was just a bunch of beings, like a whole bunch of us, and it was just beautiful music, like, I've always wanted to, like, sing in the choir, and, you know, do all that, and use my gift that God has uh, blessed me with, but I was, I've never had any desire to chase after fame, or anything like that, you know, and to sing R and B or you know, whatever type love love songs and all that, I've only wanted to use my voice to you know for His glory. And I've always said that, but um, so I had no desire to seek after uh, fame or anything. Even though know, you know I'm very much talented, but um, you know I couldn't find the right choir. Like and, and the church I grew up in, they were just extremely strict. Like. Like, you got to be speaking in tongue before you can, you know, join the choir or whatever. And it's just a whole bunch, you know, got to attend all these classes. And it's like that. So somebody has a burning desire for the Lord to, to, to use their, their talent and their gift. They can't do it because they're falling short on this and this. Like, I just always, I thought that was wrong, you know, but, um. I really, I like, I don't want to force myself into nobody's choir, 
go around the church to church and try to just join their choir, you know. I wanted to be a natural thing. I wanted to be because God placed me in this place, you know, to to uh, minister. And that's all, you know. And it has to make sense. If it doesn't flow, you know, with my spirit, like, naturally flow, like, I don't have to. I'm not feeling extremely uncomfortable. The people are making me feel uncomfortable. Because once that happens, I'm not, I'm not ministering no way, you know. Because um, I don't believe that, that, that the Lord will... Um, Lead me to fellowship with people who, you know, it's just they discourage me the whole time. You know, that I believe that he's going to uh, lead me somewhere where I can use my voice to minister to others. And, um, and you know, I, I'm not going to have to feel judged or whatever. So, you know, I take my time on that. I've never sung anybody's choir. Even though I'm very talented. So, with that being said, like, the Lord knows I've always had that desire to use my, my voice for him. And it's like the devil has been keeping uh, that opportunity from me, you know. And um, and I'm sure the devil knows that that's my desire too, so he does it on purpose. But it's all good because when I know when the Lord is going to decide to work and, 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 and give an opportunity a real true opportunity for me, then it's going to happen. But if not, then so be it. Because, you know, in this this vision of me, I mean, I was asleep. So, you know, this dream, I can't remember all of it, but I do remember that we were, there's just so much music, so much we were all singing. I mean, it was like, I mean, this is, I can't explain like the, the 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 beauty in the voices, and I don't even remember if there were any uh, instruments playing because of all the beings that were there, and um, there were specifically two other. I was in the middle, I think, of two other beings, and um, like we were like you know how you have the choir and you got like the soloists. <laughs> That's what I felt like we were doing, and um, and I was, you know, I I was just singing and, and and we praising them while we singing it. We all had white on. That's another interesting thing, you know. This is before I started like um, watching YouTube and everybody else's stories where they're like, oh, I went to heaven, and we, you know, and I was wearing white and all this other stuff. Uh, this is back in 2013. I wasn't into all that, so. I, you guys, I'm not making this up. Like, everybody was in white, you know. I was in white. <laughs> and, um, and you know, in the midst of me singing praises to him, he was there, but I did not see him. Like, other people, I don't know if they make this up, saying that they seen him and this and that. Like, you can feel his presence, and that's what, it's like an overwhelming, like, feeling of love and, um, it's just, I just can't even, words can't, you can't even put it into words. Like, you can't even, I can't even describe it, y'all. That's how amazing it was. And, um, and I'm just praising him and he's just singing. And then next thing I knew that I started feeling the fire. You know how they say when they speak in their tongue, they feel that fire come up in from their chest, like up and out of their throat. Like that, I felt that in my dream, and I was like, started speaking in tongues, and that's what woke me up, because like, <laughs> I started to really, like, my mouth really, once you feel that fire coming up, you really, like, especially if you're dreaming this, and, um, yo, like, it's like, <laughs> you really kind of wake yourself up, because, is that that's how powerful it is? Like I really started to literally speak in tongues while laying on the floor in in this jail cell, and I have never spoken tongue ever in my life. Like I just I thought this stuff was like just meant for certain people and other people. They weren't gonna be able to experience this thing, but this happened to me. Like that's what woke me up. This fire burning sensation. And it's a good fire, like, burning type sensation. And, and speaking in tongue, like, it was so powerful that I actually started to do this 
while, you know, you know, in my real natural form and it woke me up. And then I woke up with just such a peace, like it was such a calm, such a peace. And I'm like crying, like so happy, like, my God, did you just, are you, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to tell me that I'm going to make it to heaven? Like, this was amazing. The experience was amazing. I just, what he showed me was this, you guys. And why? Why did he, why did he choose to show me this? Why did he choose to have me experience this? And I was not saved. Like, I was not even walking with him like I do now. I didn't dedicate my life to him or nothing. I gave him none of my time. And just, like, the good Lord showed me this. And so, that just goes to show that he does what he wants, man. And, um, I mean, everything happens for a reason. And so, yeah, so that was, I mean, I'm not going to add to it. And I'm not going to take away from it. And that was what I experienced. Like, I spoke to my grandmother about it. She was like, well, he was showing you what, what, what could not what can be. That's what she was telling me. But I think that he was showing me what is going to be. Like, you are going to get to this. You got a lot of trials and stuff and tribulations that you got to go through. But this is where you're going to end up. Like, that's where I took from it. Because I don't believe he would have showed me all that glory and all this. I mean, it, I was blessed by that dream. Like, blessed by the experience, the vision, whatever, you know, anybody want to call it. I was, and it spoke volumes to me because that's all I ever wanted to do was to use my talent to just to entertain him, you know, or give somebody else inspiration because I know that I touch people and they hear me sing. I know that. I know that people get a feeling. It doesn't matter what it is I'm singing about. Like people, you know, I know that I have a, a very anointed gift. But, um, yeah, so... <laughs> That's it, you guys. <laughs> and um, I guess I'll, I'll come back with the next uh, dream. I'm trying to get them all out, you know, while it's in my heart, too. Uh, these visions with, you know, things that God has shown me. And uh, you all take care and God bless <laughs>